Hello everyone and welcome back to another video in my full note taking app course. In the last video I believe that we worked on the table view controller and today we will be doing the note table view cell which hopefully will take a little less time. So let's start by going over to notes and clicking on new file. We will create a new Coco Touch class and the subclass will be a UI table view cell. The class we'll give it will be something that we will remember. Note table view cell. Next. And then just create that right there. And here is our file. Now I will be deleting these comments because I think they're unnecessary. And we're going to go ahead and start with creating some IB outlets for our labels and our image and our views. All right, that's done. So let's go ahead to our cell and click on this button right here. As you can see, the class is empty. So we will be choosing a class of note table view cell. Just like that. And before we continue, we want to go over here and we want to make sure that the identifier is the same. It is actually not. So we're going to make that note table view cell. And before I forget, we also need to go over to the note table view controller and make sure that the ID is identifier is the same and it seems like it is. So that is good. Now that we've got our class attached to our cell, we can move on and create the IB outlets as I mentioned earlier. So let's go to our assistant editor right here and let's create an IB outlet for each one of our elements that we have on the cell. We're going to go ahead and start with our shadow view, which is our uh, view which everything is inside of. In case you're wondering, this view right here is the view that we're going to be applying a shadow to. Um, and that is why we will call this the shadow view. The next one that we'll do will be our name label. And to make this clear, we'll call it our note name label. Our next one will be our description label. So we'll drag that right under there and call this description label. And our last one is going to be our image view. So we'll just drag that under there and we'll call this note image view. Now that all these are connected, we are going to go to our awake from nib and we will be doing some styling here. Basically the awake from nib is like the view did load in a regular uh, view controller. So we're going to go ahead and copy and paste some things in here just so it doesn't take too long. This first one here is the shadow view dot layer dot shadow color. Basically, uh, whenever we're going to be changing anything with shadows, we'll always be using dot layer and then dot whatever we're, uh, property we're changing. For example, this one is shadow color and we'll be setting it the UI color right here, which is in um, RGBA format. And this happens to be black. We want our shadow to be black. Our next one is going to be our shadow offset and that's going to be 0.75 and 0.75. So basically that means it's going to be 0.75 away from our shadow view. And I believe that means to the bottom right hand corner. I may be wrong there, but I'm pretty sure that's what that means. The next one is the shadow radius. This is basically how blurry we want it to be. We want it to be blurry, pretty blurry. It will be a nice materialistic drop shadow. Our next one is our shadow opacity. What our shadow opacity is, is exactly what it says. It's the transparency. So one is 100% visible and zero means 0% 0 visible. So 0.2 shadow opacity means it's basically 80% transparent. If you want to think about it that way. The last thing we'll be doing is that we'll be setting the corner radius of our layer that belongs to the shadow view. 
right here. Corner radius is 2. And that just sets a really small corner radius, which I think looks nice because although sharp edges are okay, I actually, uh, the PVSock app, which is a project I made recently, doesn't really have rounded edges. But I think corner radius is a nice thing if it isn't too much. And we will also be adding a corner radius to our no image view, just so uh, all of the edges are consistent. And that is actually everything we have in our awake from nib. And next that we'll be creating a function right under our set selected, which we won't be using, called func configure cell. If you remember from the last video, this is the function that we use in our table view to set up our cell, basically what is inside of every single one of our elements. Uh, if you didn't watch that video, then you probably should because uh, you won't have any of this. So the first thing we're going to write is self dot no name label dot text, not text input mode dot text is equal to note dot note name right. dot uppercase. Now this dot uppercase section right here is not really necessary at all, but um, I do think that it is nice. It just looks better when it's uppercase when it comes to this font and because it's a title. And that's just styling issues. If you like it uppercase, you can keep this. And if you don't, then just don't add that on. But basically, we're just setting the note name label to be the value of note, which is our uh, model. If you remember from a previous video, dot note name. So it's basically getting the note name from the note which this cell is going to be occupying. Now, you may notice this error, and that's because I accidentally did not connect these IB outlets correctly. Each one of these is a view, and that is definitely not correct. In fact, each one of these is actually the same exact uh, one. And that's obviously not right. I apologize for that. I did not mean to do that at all. There we go. That seems to have worked. I apologize for that. Um, next one is the description. Note description label and our last one right here is our um, note image view. All right, sometimes mistakes do happen when you're programming. Next, what we're going to write is self dot note description label and we're actually going to be setting this label dot text is equals to same thing as in the front one uh, the top one note dot note description so we're basically getting the note description from our note and this doesn't need to be uppercased and we actually don't need that because we're not adding on anything else um, then I'm just gonna add a little space there just so it's well organized self dot no image view dot image not is hidden dot image and we're going to be setting an image now it's the ui image and what's the data of this image right here no dot no image and if you remember that's uh i believe it's a, a binary in our data model i might be wrong but I believe that is what that is referring to as data. And that is basically going to be setting everything up. Let me just check out this error really quick. Expected comma separate. Oh, all right. Never mind. False alarm. False alarm. I believe that this is actually all for our cell view today. That was definitely a much shorter video than usual, but that's all right. In our next video, we will most likely be finishing up our view controller. So that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed. Check out the other videos in this series. Stay tuned for the next one, and I'll see you soon.